Well, nearly half of the states in this country have abolished the death penalty. Several have done so just in recent years. Now, a group of prosecutors from across the country is pushing to end the death penalty across America. NBC News reporter Eric Ortiz joins us now. Eric, why are these prosecutors making this push and, and why are they doing it now? Yeah, the answer to why now, Aaron, is that these elected prosecutors say accountability needs to happen. Historically, they promoted tough on crime laws. They've had a hand in getting someone executed, some cases in which the actual guilt of the death row inmate was later called into question, or racial bias or attorney misconduct was later uncovered. So this particular group of uh, 56 prosecutors are part of a network called Fair and Just Prosecution. They're saying the death penalty system is broken, and the only fix would be to eliminate it or at least agree not to put certain people to death, people uh, with intellectual disabilities. Another reason they're pushing for this now is because states have been dusting off their death chambers after months of no executions during the pandemic. We saw one execution in Oklahoma yesterday and a dozen more are planned across the country in the coming months. So, Eric, how much power do these prosecutors actually have in eliminating or limiting the death penalty in their individual states? Yeah, they actually have a lot of power. I mean, at least in their jurisdictions, they can influence juries, cut deals. They obviously work with uh, victims' families and get their input. More states still authorize the death penalty than don't. And these prosec uh, prosecutors represent 11 states with the death penalty on the books, places like Texas. They're from big cities like Dallas and Austin. They also represent right-leading uh, rural areas where the death penalty may be more favorable. So this pledge that they're making is a big promise, and it will be interesting to see if they can keep it, Aaron. All right, NBC's Eric Ortiz with us today. Eric, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.